Now at 3.30, oil seeping out of the ground underneath a busy freeway, and now workers have to clean it up and figure out where it came from. It's all happening in the Rancho Park neighborhood on Sepulveda Boulevard near the freeway. Lauren Lister joining us there now live with the latest on this spill. Lauren? Yeah, Lou and Glenn, the oil has stopped leaking, officials tell me, but now they're trying to figure out where it was coming from. You can see crews down the street at work right under the 10 freeway on Sepulveda, where they are zeroing in on a pipe six to 10 feet below the ground, looking for any holes or cracks as they try to clean up. After crude oil began oozing and bubbling up onto Sepulveda Boulevard, a major cleanup effort underway and search for the source. Unknowing residents seeing the response, quickly realizing it's not a typical situation. We thought under the underpass it might have had something to do with the homeless situation. Uh, you know, they were cleaning up. And then as we were coming, we heard another fire truck come and it said, uh, dangerous waste removal. Today, local, state, and federal agencies responding to the oil leak. And last night, about 6 p.m., LA Fire Department reports when they first arrived, they jumped into action to contain oil coming out of the ground at three to five gallons a minute. About 500 to 1,000 gallons that firefighters had quickly been able to contain. Prior to our arrival, approximately 20 to 40 gallons had already entered the storm drain. State and local officials saying measures to stop that oil mean it did not reach Bologna Creek where it was headed and the storm drain cleanup will span over a mile to Palms and Sawtell. The source? It seems like it's coming from an underground crude oil pipeline. Crews were searching for a crack or hole in that pipe saying however another issue could also have been responsible. The incident was complicated by a simultaneous water leak from DWP. He says in theory that water could have pushed natural or leaked crude oil from underground to the surface. Whatever the reason, some were very surprised. Oil is unusual, so I never heard about the oil pipe breaking, so that's the first time I hear it. I was surprised to see the oil leak right under the ground. It is unusual to have a pipeline break like this. Significant that it went into the storm drain unnoticed all the way to two miles downstream. Officials say no injuries, no evacuations, and no public health threat aside from the noise and exhaust from some of this heavy machinery that you see. So Pulvida right now in this area from Exposition to National is close to through traffic. Uh, authorities say one side may, up, may open up later today. The cleanup overall expected to take two to three days. And while they've zeroed in on a pipe that belongs to a private company or is offer, operated by them, they haven't determined if it's responsible if that company is responsible. They foot the bill for all of this. If not, it could be the EPA. For now, that's the latest live here in Rancho Park. I'm Lauren Lister. I'll send it back to you.